there are some units which are not classified yet as a base unit or a derived unit. We call them a supplementary units. We have two supplementary units as radian, unit of physical quantity, plane angle, and stay radian, a unit of physical quantity, solid angle. So radian, radian is for two-dimensional plane angles. So a radian is defined as a plane angle suspended at the center of a circle by an arc of length equal to the radius of a circle. And if we divide a circle into radian parts, then half circle is equal to pi radian. And the whole circle is equal to 2 pi radian. For example, here we have a center of a circle. And the radius of a circle is denoted by r. An arc touches a circle which is equal to the radius of a circle. So the angle here is equal to 1 radian. As we know that angle is equal to this arc divided by radius. This arc is equal to the radius and divided by r which is equal to 1 radian. Now the question arises the circle has how many radians? So we will use the same concept here. Here the length of an arc is equal to the circumference of the circle. We know that the circumference of the circle is equal to 2 pi r divided by r. This r r will be cancelled out and we left with 2 pi. Circle has 2 pi radians. So we can conclude that one revolution of this circle is equal to 2 pi which is equal to 360 degrees. Or we can say that a pi radian is equal to 180 degrees. So here we have two relations of 2 pi radian in degrees and pi radian in degrees. If we want to find a relationship between a radian and a degree, then we can write it as 1 radian is equal to 180 degrees divided by pi. And as we know that pi is equal to 3.14. So, 1 radian is equal to 57.3 degree. Memorize all the points mentioned on this page. Usually, they come directly in the entrance examination. So, we have stay radian. Stay radian is for three-dimensional solid angles. The stay radian is defined as a solid angle substantiated at the center of a sphere area of its surface equal to the square of the radius of the sphere. So in the previous case of radian, we consider it as 2D, like this. Similarly, for this case of stay radian, we consider it as 3D. So let me draw this cone again here like this so if we consider it as a center of a sphere and the dis and this distance as r the radius of the sphere and if this area is equal to r square then this angle is equal to 1 stay radian so the formula we use for radian was We can modify this formula for stay radian as area divided by r square. So in this case, the area is equal to r square. So this cancel out and here we have theta is equal to 1 stay radian. So we have a question that sphere has how many stay radian?
So we will modify this formula as in this case the area of the whole sphere divided by r square. We know that the area of the sphere is equal to 4 pi r square divided by r square. This r square will cancel out and we left with 4 pi stay radian. The sphere has 4 pi stay radian. So here we have our entry test MCQs which is relevant to these entrance examinations especially for ETA, ECAT, MDCAT, MCAT, NED and DO. The intercepted area of the spherical surface about the center is 0 0.075 meters square. Having diameter is equal to 100 centimeters, what will be the solid angle? So this MCQs can be explained with the help of this figure that we have a spherical surface and the intercepted area is equal to 0 0.075 meters square. And the diameter is equal to 100 centimeters as the diameter is equal to 100 centimeter. So as I explained in my previous lectures that solid angle is equal to this area divided by r square. So here is little conversion in this MCQs as the diameter is in centimeter. We have to convert it in meters first. As diameter is equal to 100 centimeter which is equal to 1 meter. As we know that diameter is equal to 2 radius. We can write it as radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. Here diameter is equal to 1 meter divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.5 meter. So now we can put the value of this area and radius in this formula as solid angle is equal to 0 0.075 divided by 0 0.5 whole square. So whole square of 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.5. So 0 0.075 divided by 0 0.25 is equal to 0 0.3 stay radian or we can write it as 3 10 raised to power minus 1 stay radian. So C is the right answer and how we deal with this scientific notations is already explained with trick in my scientific notation lecture. Kindly go through it.